William Place, when his wife first died, he was anxious to kind of remarry. He wanted to find a mature woman who was a good housekeeper and most importantly could take care of his young daughter, Ida. In 1893, he hired a servant named Martha Scavol, who was a widow from uh, New Brunswick, New Jersey, to keep the house at the Brooklyn uh, home. He was happy with her work, and she seemed to lavish a great deal of affection on Ida. Soon William was showing her more attention than would naturally be given to a hired servant. And in a month or two, he was seen with her at the other. After a whirlwind courtship, despite objections from his relatives, who thought she would bring him trouble, William married Martha. Sure enough, not long after the marriage, Martha's true nature came out. Quick temper, and she often quarreled with other family members. She was annoyed that William had put the house in Ida's name. We're traveling to that house and the scene of the crime. She wanted her adopted son to live at the house and William objected. But the biggest difficulty was Martha's jealousy of William's affection for his daughter. Imagine that. Ida played piano and loved to accompany her father, who had a fine tenure voice. They also shared a passion for amateur photography. Martha resented the time they spent together and had been heard to say, Ida and her father will be married someday, I suppose. As years went on, Martha's affection for Ida diminished and by 1898 with Ida 17 years old it had quickly turned to hostility Martha had threatened to kill both William and Ida and her late night fits of temper would drive them both from the house more than once they had to contact the physician to give her sedatives. On February 8th, 1898, after William had left for work, neighbors heard loud arguing from the place home. Around nine, the servant now, no longer Martha, but Helen Tom, heard Ida screaming and ran upstairs. Martha sent her back down saying, never mind, We've only had a little quarrel. And later that day, Martha fire, fired Helen, saying they are breaking up housekeeping unexpectedly and no longer needed her for help. The house remained quiet with all the curtains closed for the rest of the day. And while William returned home from work at 6.30 and shortly after entering the door, a neighbor saw him run from the house with blood streaming from his head. My wife shot me, said William. She had shot me in the head, and if I do not get the bullet out of my head, I'll die. It had not been a gunshot. He had been hit twice in the head with a hatchet. The attack had been so sudden and so jarring that he thought that he had been shot. An ambulance was called, and the police arrived, and had to break into the house. They found Martha on the floor with broken glass lamps, spewing gas into the room. She appeared to be unconscious, but the doctor who uh, resuscitated her believed that she was faking. Now Ida was found upstairs lying on her bed, she had been strangled to death. There appeared to have been a fierce struggle. 
Ida had used scissors to defend herself, and Martha's dress uh, was ripped and slashed. Here we are, scene of the crime, the former police home. Ida's eyes were suffused and discolored as if Martha had attempted to gouge them. The doctor believed Ida had been dead since early that morning. Martha was taken to the hospital because of her apparent suicide attempt, but was soon released into police custody. Look at Ida he said, and deny, if you will, that you killed her. Ida looked down and closed her eyes. Reportedly, she said, my God, I did it. Take me away, take me away. But when she was taken to court and charged with homicide, Assault, attempted suicide, she said, I didn't do anything of the kind. Nothing, not me. Her trial began in 1898. Her defense, insanity. She was found guilty. First degree murder, sentenced to die. The verdict was appealed, but the appeal failed and the verdict was upheld. Martha Place was the first woman to be executed by the electric chair. The case made headlines in regards to debate if this was the proper way to um, execute a woman or even if a woman should be executed at all. Many bills tried, but they failed. 